Live right here on WPRI 12 as the Brighton Point power towers came down in a planned implosion. Well, the site in Somerset was considered to be one of the dirtiest power plants in New England, but that's all about to change. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie explains more about the plans for the future of the former coal plant. She joins us from Somerset now with the details. Last month, the two massive cooling towers were imploded, making a way for a new era of renewable energy. We're going to go from coal to wind. Following the closure of the coal-powered Brayton Point power plant last year and the planned implosion of the cooling towers last month, Brayton Point Commerce Center and Ambaric announced a new partnership. To introduce a 1,200 megawatt HVDC converter facility that would take wind energy from offshore, convert it into AC, and put it into the existing infrastructure. And Barrick CEO says its proposal for HVDC or high voltage direct current technology is the only one in the Massachusetts market right now. The technology will launch the Ambaric Renewable Energy Center at Brayton Point. Before the new $650 million investment was announced, Somerset's Board of Selectmen chair says losing the power plants was tough economically. At one point, both power plants contributed approximately 40% of the tax base for the town to the amount of about $20 million. With this loss of revenue, it has been a huge financial burden on the town. But now, town and state leaders say Somerset's future is looking bright thanks to a lot of hard work from the community. Reason for literally hundreds of new jobs, a message about what we as a nation, as a business community can do to combat climate change. And Barrick leaders tell me they plan to begin construction by 2021 with offshore wind farms in place by 2023. Reporting in Somerset, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.